Hello and welcome back to the lecture series on proof theory. Uh, today I will discuss two important uh, uh, topics in group theory. That is, uh, the one is related with the uh, group and the other one is related with the elements of the group. So the first definition that I will give you is about the order of a group. Mm. And the second one is the order of an element of a group. Um, definition says that uh, the number of elements of a group, which uh, may be finite or infinite, is called its order. We will use this uh, uh, notation for the cardinality of set to denote the order of G. <clears throat> so we know that if it is finite, then it will have finite number of elements. And if the group has infinite elements, then the order of group will be infinite order. For example, the group Z of integers under addition has infinite order, whereas the group um, given here is 1, 3, 7, 9 under multiplication modulo 10. So basically, this is the um, group of uh, positive integers uh, less than 10, which are relatively prime to 10. Um, it consists of four elements, 1, 3, 7, 9, and we consider this group uh, under multiplication modulo 10. And as we can see, it has four elements, so the order of this group is four. Um, the next definition is the order of an element. It is defined as the order of an element G in a group G is the smallest positive integer n such that G power n is equal to E. Um, and in additive groups, uh, we will denote uh, the the, the, we will express this notation, which is given as a power of uh, g in the form n g is equal to zero. So here, uh, the identity element e is replaced by the identity in additive group that is zero, and g power n, as we already discussed in uh, the last uh, video clips, that uh, in additive case g power n will be n g. That is, it is the sum of uh, G with itself, uh, and it has N terms in that sum. Uh, if so, no such integer exists, we would say that the order um, of an element G is infinite order. And uh, we denote the order of an element G by uh, the similar notation that we have used for the order of a group. Um, the only difference here is, the uh, small g and capital G, because in case of group, it is understood that the group is denoted denoted by the capital letters of the English alphabet and their elements are denoted by the small letters of the English alphabet. Then let us discuss some examples. Um, for example, consider U15, which is the uh, set of positive integers uh, less than 15 and which are prime, relatively prime with 15. So it has GCD, greatest common divisor, um, equal to one with 15. So we have uh, these um, eight elements in this group. As you can see, two and 15 are relatively prime because their greatest common divisor is one. Similarly, four and 15 has greatest common divisor one. Similarly, seven, eight, 11, 13, 14. All these elements are relatively prime with 15. And we are considering this group under multiplication model of 15. Now, as this, this group has eight elements in it, so its order is eight, uh, whereas the order of the element seven is, um, the order of element seven is four. Why is that so? Because when we multiply seven with seven, we get uh, 49 and under model of 15, 49 is four, uh, the remainder residue is four. If I divide 49 by 15, then I get uh, the remainder four. Similarly, when I multiply four again with seven, because seven power three, when I take seven power three, then four multiplied by seven is 28. And uh, in this case, we have uh, the remainder is 13. And again, if I divide, multiply 13 by 7, then I get 91. And in this case, um, the remainder will be 4. So, uh, sorry, the remainder is 1 in this case, because uh, 91 when divided by 15 is 
uh, 15 times 6 will be 90 and the remainder will be 1 so uh, the, the 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 power of 7 at which we get 1 is the fourth power that is why the uh, this is the minimum positive integer the minimum power that uh, when taken on 7 will give us 1 so that is why the order of this element is 4 Similarly, if I get take the element 11, then its square will be 121 and the remainder residue of 121 modulo 15 will be 1. So the order of 11 is 2 in this case because we have taken uh, power 2 of 11 to get 1. Consider uh, this group under addition Z10. Since um, this is a uh, additive group, so we will consider the uh, notation of n g equal to 0 instead of g power n is equal to e. So when I take a, an element 2, then how many times I add 2 with itself to get uh, the identity of this group that is a 0. So if I add 2 with itself 5 times, then I get 0 because 2 times 5 is 10 and under modulo 10, the remainder is 0. So that is why I get 2, point, two times 5 is equal to 0. So that we have the order of element 2 will be 5. And similarly, by the same expression, by the same equation, I can also get the order of element 5 would be 2 because 5 when added 2 times would get give me 0. So that is why the order of element 5 would be 2. And one more example, uh, the group of integers under ordinary addition, every non-zero element has infinite order. Since um, any non-zero element when it is added with itself, uh, no matter how many times it is added, it will never give me zero. An ordinary group of integers. I'm not talking about here the group of integers under modulo some positive integer. I'm just saying the group of integers. So that is why a two a three a four a five a six a for any number of uh, times if I add a with the a, I could never get zero. So that is why the um, every non-zero element in the group of integers and their addition will be of infinite order. So that is uh, the two basic concepts in group theory called the order of group and order of element. Um, we will, I will see you in the next uh, short clip with another concept in group theory. Thank you.